Hello guys, I've literally just landed at Rijeka Airport in Croatia. Um, the views look amazing as I was flying over. Can't wait to get around and explore the area, see what it's got so far. I know nothing about Croatia, but here we are. So let's go for it and see what Croatia's got to offer. I've just left the airport. Uh, I'm now going to Rijeka. Um, just a quick bus ride here. It's not even a bus, it's a coach and it doesn't stop anywhere. It's just literally from the airport. Um, to here, it's 30 kilometers from the airport to here. Uh, literally, it took me about 25 minutes. Afternoon, guys, how are you all doing? Um, I don't know what the weather is like in London. I hope it's sunny like it is here. Um, yeah, man, my first day in Croatia. Um, it's Easter Sunday, so everything's closed. Um, so, there's not much to report today. I've been around the town and that. Uh, not probably a couple of restaurants open and that's about it. Um, I think everything's open tomorrow though, so I'll be going around and showing you the sights and what's going on. Um, since I've been here today, I've only met lovely people, um, so I haven't experienced no racism, nothing like that, nothing at all. Um, I've met quite a few lovely people. Everywhere I seem to go, there's loads of German people everywhere. Um, I think because the weather's so shit in, in Britain and Germany that everyone's been going abroad. But yeah, there's loads of German people here, same, same as there was in Faro, in Portugal. Um, I made a few friends here already. I'm just chilling today, I'm going to chill here today. It's nice and relaxing by the sea. Um, we're in the biggest port, I think this is the biggest port area of Croatia. But yeah, I'm just there, I'm chilling today, I'm pretty tired and knackered, so I'm not going to walk around, I'm just going to chill. Um, and then tomorrow I'll be out and about. I've got to go to this. I can never pronounce the names of anything in this country because I don't speak the lingo and I can't read the, the right the words in it. But there's a, I forget what it's called. It's five, there's 500 and something steps. Apparently no one knows the exact amount, amount of steps because there's so many and everyone always loses count. But there's 500 and something steps that leads up to a castle. So I'm going to be going up there tomorrow. Um, that's one of the main attractions here. Um, Trust me, yeah. I remember being in Bournemouth with Mrs. B and we had to go up 101 steps and I nearly fucking died halfway. But I made it, yeah. But this time I've got to go 500 and something steps. So yeah, locking tomorrow. I'll be going up these steps and showing you the amazing view from up the top of the hill um, from the castle. So right now, I'm just chilling here in the sun. Like I said, there's nothing open at the moment over here. It's Easter Sunday and these motherfuckers are religious. Um, there's literally nothing open, so I'm just chilling, um, conversating with people and you know how it goes. But yeah, I'm going to have to go and get something to eat soon. Cause man, hey, I'm starving, man. I had my McDonald's earlier, but I'm still hungry. Um, and another thing, there don't, there's no shops open. I need some. I need a couple beers, man. The sun's shining, you get me? Well, I don't know how I'm going to get some beers, but I might have to get a cab somewhere or find out some information from one of the locals where I can get something to drink. But yeah guys, uh, if I go anywhere or anything happens, I'm going to pop back on live. Uh, I might come on in a minute just to show you my the, the, the view from my room. This is a mad sea view. But anyway guys, enough love. Um, happy Easter. And I will be back on in a bit or later on. Nice one, yeah? Wicked. Hey, it's a nightmare. I'm having a nightmare over here. Hey, listen. Because it's Easter Sunday, there's nothing open in this country, I swear down, there's one restaurant open about two miles away. McDonald's is closed now. I can't get no food, there's no food, there's no nothing. I'm fucking starving, innit? So, but there's nothing open, literally nothing, nowhere. I've never seen a country so empty and deserted. Um, it's because it's Easter Sunday, basically. So, yeah, two in the morning I'm fucked, can't get nothing to eat. I've got a few beers up in the fridge, but um, I've got no food, so... I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna have a couple of beers and probably get me head down because I'm absolutely shattered. As you all know, I was working all day yesterday in the sun. Um, I've been uh, had about two and a half hours sleep last night. I've been up and down, up and down, walked about eight, ten miles today. Oh, man, I'm knackered. I'm absolutely shattered. So I'm gonna have a beer. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I've, I've had um, I had that McDonald's earlier today, and that's all I've eaten all day. Absolutely starving. So this is my second day in Rijeka, guys. Um, thank God all the shops are open now. 
There's signs of life and it's all busy. Um, yeah, man, I just had something to eat. Everything's great. It's lovely here. Um, listen, you can get over here for as little as that like, £12. I'll pay £24 return for my tickets to Rieka. Um, it's lovely here. It's, it's a um, chilled area. It's not a major city or anything. Um, you've got the sea there, you've got a port there. Um, big shopping area. Got a little fun fair for the kids. And as always, every country I go, there's a McDonald's. <laughs> so we're sorted. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is bank holiday still. I don't know if it's bank holiday in this country. I don't know if they, if they even have bank holidays. But most of the shops are open, like near enough for all of them. Um, to be honest with you. So yeah, I'm gonna have a walk around. There's signs of life now. I'm having a great time here. So guys, I'm in um, Rieka Town Centre. Just by the bay. Oh man, there's a restaurant, a hotel here. That's a, that boat is actually a hotel and a restaurant. They do all day breakfast till 11 o'clock. I've just missed it. I'm really gutted. Um, little tiny fun fair here. Over here for the kids. You got all the rich people's boats over there. One day I might own one. You never know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just having a walk around, see what's around. I'm going over to there's a restaurant cafe place over here called O'Hara's and everybody's recommending it so I'm going over there to have a spot of food and might have a, a cheeky pint as well. Uh, I'm just going to have a little bit to eat because yesterday was, back, it was um, Easter Sunday and over here they take Easter very seriously. When I, I shit you not when I tell you there was not one shop open in the whole of Rieka yesterday um, apart from McDonald's and one bar. Uh, that was literally it for the whole day. Um, I had to starve yesterday, basically. Couldn't get no food from nowhere. Um, there was, there is a petrol station that was open, but I couldn't find it. But I'm about to go and eat now. Um, if you're over here, if you're coming over here, check out Alvaro's here. Everybody's been recommending it. I'm in a place called O'Hara's. Now, this place has been recommended by so many people. Uh, they do English breakfast, all kinds of stuff. So I've just come in here, I'm gonna grab some food, I'm gonna have a cheeky pint, and you're done though, yeah? So guys, Rijeka is one of the main ports in Croatia. Um, so you get loads of big container ships coming from China, as you see that one there. Um, and they offload all the, all the goods, the containers, and they pile them up there. And then there's a train line just the other side, and they put all these containers onto the trains and distribute them around Croatia. Um, so yeah, Rijeka is one of the main ports of Croatia, and a lot of goods come through Croatia by the way of Rijeka's port. Uh, just a bit of information there for you guys. Um, I was totally unaware of this. I didn't even, before I even came to Rika, I've never heard of the place. And I'm so glad I did hear of the place because it's lovely here and it's lovely and chilled. Um, if you wanna, if, I, I recommend this area for, um, if you want a chilled holiday. Um, I wouldn't bring my kids here. It's, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's adults, but just for chilled holiday, chilled vibe. There's probably not that much for kids to do, to be honest with you. Um, although I haven't explored the whole of Rijeka yet, so we're going to find out today, eh? Um, going to be going around Rijeka, seeing what's, what it's got to offer. Um, I know a few things that are here, but I'm a bit worried because I've got to show you guys the devil steps up to the castle and um, there's over 500 steps, man. I don't know if I can make it, <laughs> but we'll give it a go. Anyway, guys, see you in a bit. So I'm just on my way to the devil steps. Cool. I don't know how I'm gonna make it because I've just had to walk up about 100 steps. This hill is as steep as anything and I see more steps ahead of me. And when I mean steps, I mean loads of them. Um, and this is all just to get to the devil steps. So I'm knackered already. I just wanna go back home and be, go back to my hotel and sleep. Oh, mate. But yeah, there, is some, there are a lot of hills here. Loads of steps. Um, and I'm a fit guy. <laughs> I've got bad legs because I've got arthritis, but I can still get about. But trust me, this is a lot. But I'm here, so it has to be done. 
So let's go guys, let's find the devil steps. As promised, I'm at the, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Trissac Castle or something. Uh, there's some mad views here. It's like literally at the top of the hills, so you can see the whole of Rijeka. Um, I listen, I cheated, yeah? I didn't go up the devil steps. I got a cab up here, yeah? <laughs> I'm not silly, you get me? But when I got here, I just got here, yeah? I wasn't expecting all this behind me, because they've got some restaurant bar thing in the castle and all that, so I'm probably going to have a beer and all that before I go down these 500 steps. But yeah, um, Rijeka actually means river. And there's the river there. It goes right through the middle of Rijeka. Um, yeah, man, some mad views. You could chill up here all day, I tell you. I'm going to go and have a beer and stuff. And um, yeah, I'll be walking down these devil steps in a little while. Uh, it's 500 and something steps apparently. Uh, it goes right back down all the way to where I just got a cab from basically. I'm the only idiot to get a cab somewhere to walk home. <laughs> to have to walk back, you know. But yeah, just had to come up here and check out the views and check out the castle. It's like mad. But yeah, you see what I'm saying now uh, when I'm telling you about hills and stairs, yeah? There's fucking hundreds of stairs, the steepest hills you've ever seen in your life. Uh, trust me, um, my legs are fucked, my back's fucked, and I've got a cabbie and I didn't walk. <laughs> I'm telling you. But I'm gonna go up here, get some music, and if I was drinking up here, so I'm gonna go and join, join the fun, you get me? I'm gonna get a drink and stuff. Chill up here for a minute, and then um, I might have a quick look round, and. Uh, and then I'm gonna find the steps to come back down. I'm gonna have a quick walk around now, actually. See what's going on. So when these motherfuckers are at war, these cannons here, well, there were cannons here, shooting out at sea. And these ships coming in to attack, you know, to invade. I don't think we can go in the castle, it looks all locked up. I'm not sure if it's usually open, it looks like it is. Oh, wow, that looks like some dungeons. I don't know if you can see in there, because it's dark. It's like a cave, man. Yeah, I don't know if we can get in the castle. I don't think we can. Uh, everything looks locked up. Yeah, guys. Come over to Croatia, man. You get here for less than £90, trust me. Four nights, can't go wrong. It's got to be fucking being in Britain, innit? Surely. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like calling this this place the city of steps man it's the spare steps everywhere you go let's have a quick look around and go and have a drink I don't know nothing about this castle I don't know when it was built or anything yeah but it looks I don't know To me, it looks like about 1600s, maybe. I don't know. I'll find out, though. Uh, when I get back to my hotel, I'll do a bit of research. Um, my review and that. More steps. Fucking everywhere you look, there's steps. this way first yeah we're proper on the top of everywhere <laughs> man's on top of the world yo <laughs> more steps fuck you know Surely this has got to be the top of the castle, surely. That hole in the middle, Which I know I could do. I don't Wow. This is looking dodgy. I could I would have stayed too close to the edge. Fuck that. You trip over here, you're you're gonna. So 
this is one of the towers that I'm standing on. Literally the top of the castle. I'm getting down from here because it's fucking dodgy up here, mate. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go and have a drink. Then I'm going to find the steps that go all the way down to near where my hotel is. Uh, it's 500 and something steps, so I couldn't be bothered to walk up them. I've got a cab in it. I don't mind walking down them. But I'm fucking lost now. I'm going to well get it. A quick peek down this way. I just had to show you this hostel. It's called the Fun Hostel. Um, and um, people recommended it to me and told me about it. So I thought I'd come down here and check it out. And I just had a word with the lady and she's lovely and really informative and helpful. And it seems like a decent place. Now, I do these holiday reviews and a lot of the places are four and five star hotels that some people can't afford. So um, as some of you might have seen uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Portugal and I actually stayed in a hostel to do a budget holiday review for people with not, not much money. So I was in hostels that were eight pound a night and stuff. Um, this hostel behind me is about 15 pound a night or something. So I'm gonna take you through and have a quick look round. Um, just a quick look round. On the outside, it doesn't look like much, but it's cause it's right by the sea. Um, you know, but none of the, to be honest, um, none of the buildings here seem like they've been painted or nothing. There's probably no point cause they're by the sea and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty nice in here. Um, so instead of spending, I don't know, 500 pounds to stay in a hotel up the road, you can come in here and it's only 15 pounds for a night. You know, um, let me just walk you around a minute. Oh. So this is your lovely Anita. <laughs> um, this, <laughs> so this is the kitchen area. So um, let me just show you around. So when you go to a hotel, you're paying about £500 for a few nights or whatever, but well, you could come here and pay about £45, you know? Um, it's a pretty social place, um, community vibe. So let me show you. You've got different rooms that a lot of people won't want to sleep with other people. Um, this is one of the rooms. So you've got about seven or eight beds in here. There's seven beds in here. Um, some of you guys might want to buddy up and share rooms and stuff but there's loads of rooms in here um, you've got rooms with eight beds let me just show you so you've got another room here so these are the hostels right? everyone gets a locker to lock up your private stuff um, obviously you've got your toilets and your shower and all that um, 
So this is called the Fun Hostel. Let me just show you. I just want to show you this room. This is. Sorry. Is it right? Do you mind? This is the double room, guys. So if you want to stay here, you've got a double. If you're a couple, you can stay in here and you're sorted. You've got a view out the window there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. So, fifteen pound a night. You can come and have a decent holiday in Rijeka. It cost me twenty-four pound return from Stansted. You know, um, so twenty-four pound return. I stay stayed here in four-star hotel. About four hundred, five hundred quid for four or five nights, and then you can stay here for fifteen pound a night. So it'd be about sixty quid for four or five nights, you know. Um, so yeah, there's different options for different people. If you're a single traveller, solo traveller, this is probably a great place for you to come and socialise and stuff. If you're a couple, likewise, you could come here, or you can go to the hotel if you want to spend a lot more money. But I go to hotels all the time. You don't tend to meet as many people. In here, you meet loads of people, everyone's friendly. Uh, and that's the experience I get with hostels, and this is one of the better ones. So if you're coming to Rijeka, check out Fun Life Hostel, Fun Hostel, sorry. Um, and come over here, 24 quid return I paid. Um, and you can come and stay in here for 60 quid. 65 quid, something like that. So less than 100 quid, you can come to Croatia um, and stay by the sea. You know, um, and have a nice holiday. You know, um, so that's the fun hostel in Rijeka. Check it out, guys, for the budget holiday. Um, it don't cost a lot, so it's well worth checking out. Get out of England, come over here for a little week away, a few days away. It's lovely here. Um, the people are lovely. When I first, um, before I came here, I was a bit um, apprehensive because I've been told it's the most racist country in the world <laughs> but to be honest with you all there's a lot of racism in a lot of countries and there's probably a lot of racism in England too you know so um, anyway I've got here and I've got to I'm pleasantly surprised because I've got here everyone's lovely I've seen no racism not felt anything like that at all okay so um, yeah guys there's loads to do here is uh, I wouldn't suggest to come here as a family with your kids or if you were just for a few days um, there's not much for kids to do there's a few little things but not much um, but this this area is definitely for solo travel travelers and for couples um, depending on your budget you might want to stay at the hostel or you might want to stay at the four-star hotel up the road there's plenty of other places as well but i've found the two best um, in the area and this hostel is pretty decent i'm not gonna lie for 15 pound a night you know um, yeah guys anyway check it out the fun hostel that's in Rijeka, Croatia. So my holiday in Rijeka has come to an end. Um, I'm going to be going to the airport in the morning, flying home. Um, yeah, so just a roundup of Rijeka. It's well worth visiting. Uh, you can get here for really cheap. You can stay here for cheap. Everything is pretty cheap. Um, I advise, I recommend um, for single travellers and for couples uh, for three or four days. If you um, want to come over and hire a car, then you can stay over for a week or two because there's loads of places to visit. But if you want, if you're not hiring a car over here, you'd have to get buses and stuff, and that could be a bit awkward. So I'd suggest three or four days unless you're going to hire a car. Um, it's also a really good destination for people who like hiking and stuff like that. Um, there's lots of hiking trails and all that around here, um, you know. But there's quite a few things to do here. You've got Tris Trisat Castle. Um, there's 500 or something steps, the devil steps going up to the castle. Um, I bottled out. I got a cab up and walked down. <laughs> but there's a nice bar up there in the castle, um, just outside the castle. Um, and they do concerts and, and stuff like that there in the summer times. Um, it's really nice up there actually. I chilled up there yesterday, had a couple of pints, it was lovely. Um, the views are absolutely amazing. Um, I cannot stress how m mad the views are from that castle. Um, there's other things to do here. You've got um, Peek and Poke. Um, it's a computer, it's a retro computer museum. So all the old, old, old computers. I mean, before I was even born, you know? And you can actually play on them. They all work, everything in there works. So they've got every single computer you can ever imagine. Um, yeah, there's other little places here. There's a little rock climbing place, indoor rock climbing place with a gym and ropes and all that stuff. Um, just here. 
Um, there's other little things. There's a fun fair for the kids up by the main sit by the main centre, um, centre of Rieka. Um So there's quite a few things to do. Um, I'm sure you can get online and Google Rieka and everything there is to do. You've got a zip wire here as well, massive zip wire. Um, you can go and do it. They've got a few zip wires on Kirk Island, which is spelled K-R-K, -K, don't ask. <laughs> but it's called Kirk Island, apparently. Um, that's where the actual airport is. Um, yeah, guys, so trust me, this is a good spot to get away. If you want to get away for a bit for pretty cheap, trust me, this is a good spot, man. It's Rieka. It's not a busy, busy city like most of the tourist destinations. It's very serene and um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's lovely here. It's just chilled and serene, you know? It's a nice, relaxing holiday. Um, not my usual holiday where I go to bars and all that, clubs and all that. There's no clubs here. There's some bars, there's loads of coffee shops and loads of little quirky restaurants and cafes and stuff. So for those of you who like to go out and have a drink and get nice food and stuff, there's loads of places here. It's, it's, there's loads, <laughs> like, trust me. But um, yeah, guys. Get over here, man. Rieka, Croatia. It's a lovely little place. I never knew about this place. Um, I just found it on my radar and I saw that there was cheap flights. So I thought I'd come and check it out and do a little holiday with you over here, you know. Um, so I'm glad I came here and didn't go to a big city like Dubrovnik or Split or anywhere because um, that's your usual cup of tea, you know. This is something a little bit different and I'm sure a lot of you would love to come over here just for a few days even. Um, trust me, man. It's really lovely here. Um, anyway, guys. Thank you for watching and please um, subscribe on my, my YouTube or follow me on Facebook, CJ Renzo is my Facebook page and our YouTube page is hashtag Ghetto Travel Man. Um, for all your latest deals, reviews, recommendations, all your holiday deals, yeah? I can, I'm coming with them. Um, next week I'll be in Malaga, so look out for my next um, edition of Ghetto Travel Man. You'll see my review on Malaga and Toro Molinos. Um, take care, guys. Stay safe and enjoy your travels. Enough love.